Hello, my YouTube friends. It's time for uh, Petwood Friday on Saturday. I didn't get to it yesterday. Uh, I've not been doing well here this week. My back, my knee, my elbow, my wrist. It's just uh, my body's breaking down here. So, but anyways, I'm gonna do one this week, and I'm gonna use uh, one of my newer knives. This is the Sig Sauer, which is made by Hogue. Um, EXF01 and I don't know if you can see it that's the factory edge Hogue just does a hell of a job on their factory edges I'll tell you what but uh, rosewood handles and it's got the, uh, the um, rough texture like the SIG uh, pistol grips hand grips so I, I was going to get the, uh, the regular Hogue one that has the black Cerakote coating and um, cocoa bubble handles that thing's just a beautiful knife but I prefer if I can get them to not have coating on the blade. Um, anyways, this A2 tool steel. It's got a five and a half inch blade and very, very comfortable handle. Really loving this thing. And it uh, comes with, I'm not a fan of the leather sheaths, or I mean uh, uh, nylon sheaths, but as far as they go, this one's pretty well made. Um, got the two straps, got the insert in it. Uh, like I say, I'm not a fan of those, but it's a, it's a good one as far as those go. But uh, they come very sharp. There's this phone book paper here. That's like I said, that's a factory edge. That's the way they come. So Hogue does a hell of a job with uh, with the factory edges. So, anyways, we'll get to it. I got some assortment here of. Uh, This is all uh, from Missouri here. Missouri, my friend down in Missouri sent me this up. This is just some seriously, seriously gooey stuff here right there. And uh, if anybody's wondering why they call it bacon, look at that, that layered, layered look of bacon there. But I got some, most of it already done. I'll just do a little bit more here. See this all right? Yeah, I guess I'm in. Uh, I guess I'm in frame. I need a new, uh, get a new um, uh, tripod. This thing is, uh, it's not holding up very well. The, um, the top, the part that holds the phone wants to keep dropping down on me. It's, it's like it's loose and it won't tighten up. Man, this, that wood is rich. Rich with resin. Get it up, whipped up here. I was going to, uh, you know, I try to use a different knife every week. Sooner or later, I'm not going to be able to keep that up, but I still have a few that I haven't used yet that I can show you. Um, other than the big bowies, I'm not going to use big bowies for, for this. You know, big 10 inch bowie, that's kind of overkill, but uh, for my, you know, six, seven inch, seven inch and under, I'd say knives, I got a few left I haven't shown you all yet, and I, but uh, I got like way too many knives. I swear I was going to stop buying knives. I wasn't going to buy any more for a while. But you know how it is with us uh, addicts. <laughs> I, uh, I have a line steel T6 coming. Um, I wanted a T5 for a long time. And now, then they just recently came out with a T6. And uh, I decided I wanted that one instead. Especially since it's got uh, K490 steel in it. And I've never checked that steel out. I, I have some Spyderco uh, knives in K390, and that stuff's really good. But I've never tried the 490, and I want to check that out. It's uh, supposedly the 490 uh, holds an edge about like M4 would, and uh, but it's supposed to be twice as tough as M4. So let's see how it see how it does here. So we'll see. We'll see. That should be here next week. Jeez, come on. There we go. I'm not with it today here for some reason. Oh, my back is killing me. But there you go. That is some good fat wood right there. Uh, so there you are. Uh, happy Fatwood Friday, everybody. It's uh, Saturday, but uh, shit happens. Um, 
Once again, that's uh, the Sig Sauer EXF01. This is actually made by Hogue. It's got the same kind of grips as the Sig Sauer pistols, which, man, this thing is not coming loose of your hand. That is great. The, uh, the jimping, it works, but it's pretty aggressive, really. It's something you're going to want to use gloves with, I would say, if you're going to use that. It does have the choke up. You can choke up on it and do some fine work. Just a really, really cool knife. I really, really like it. This is one that's been on my wish list for a long time. Actually, the uh, the black blade with Kokobola handles is the one I've been having on my wish list. But uh, this one popped up, and without the coating, I decided to go for that. I'm really, really nice knife. Hopefully next week, I'll have the uh, Lion Steel TX-6 to show you guys. I wish I could do... Uh, you know, hard use testing like uh, like scab does over at Corbori's Cutlery, um, but with my back and my knees and my hips and everything, uh, it's just not really good for me to do that. And uh, I don't have any place right handy by. We have a park that's not far. It's a really nice park, but uh, there's always a lot of people around there, so it's not cool to be playing with big old knives out there. Closest place that I can go, other than that, that I have that use uh, permission to use is my brother's, and that's like an hour drive each way. So that's kind of a pain. I don't get out there as often as I would like to. And again, with the, the back and the knees and everything, uh, tromping through the woods, unfortunately, it's just getting hard for me to do anymore. But I'll, uh, I'm thinking about doing some uh, tabletop knife reviews on my some folders, maybe some fixed blades, but more EDC of, uh, type of type of thing. And uh, I thought I'd do uh, mostly budget knives on that because I think my sub my subscriber base is probably more interested in uh, more budget friendly knives. Um, but I do have some expensive knives if you want to see them. I might throw one in here and there. Um, maybe do some fixed blades too. But they're just going to be tabletop reviews basically. It's unfortunately all my old body is good for anymore. Um, on a rare occasion I do get out to the woods. I'll uh, try to t remember to bring my tripod and what have you. But Unfortunately, I don't get out there all that often anymore. So, anyways, fire's out. I'm just babbling on at this point, so uh, let everybody go. I hope you all have a, a great rest of your weekend here. And uh, until the next one, stay safe, stay blessed, and we'll see you.